being SMC MD utility. Now, to really to make system administrators feel happy with the Oracle environment, uh, Oracle provides a tool that looks a bit like Linux or Unix. We have Unix commands, so we have a kind of Unix interface. I'm deliberately using this rather than the SQL Plus interface that will be more, that will be more familiar to database administrators. So we have a Unix type interface. What I need to do to create a new file system, I use the command, which I'll copy here, vol create. I create a volume, and this is the equivalent of creating a, <coughs> a logical volume in a physical volume. My physical volume is called a group called ACFSV1. I'm creating a logical volume called vol1 of 256 megabytes. I've created a logical volume here. And the moment I create it with the vol create command, we see a device driver generated in slash dev, slash dev slash ASM, and there's my device driver. So that has created a logical volume of 256 megabytes. Right, what do I do with that logical volume? Well, we know what to do with logical volumes. You format them with file systems. So MKFS. I could use type ext3. I could even use minus type ntfs. Yeah. At this point, this is just a device driver like any other. I shall, of course, use a CFS because I want to get the ACFS capabilities. So we create a file system with a perfectly normal MKFS command. And that's formatted a very little, a very small file system. What do we do next? We mount it. So mount type ACFS. And I would mount the device slash dev slash MNT dev ASM on say slash MNT and df minus h. There it is. There's my little 256 megabyte volume file system mounted, and that is a file system like any other. And so it is quite straightforwardly touch. It's just a file system like any other file system, but it happens to be managed and controlled by grid infrastructure. Now, this is a truly clustered file system. Um, I've got trouble, as pointed out, with my other nodes. I can't demonstrate the clustered ability right now, but it's clusterable, which many file systems, such as ext3, are not. And I can use it for anything I want. In that previous webinar that um, Dave just referred to, I demonstrated the snapshots and replication capabilities. Uh, now, I just want to point out that ACFS, a file system, an ACFS mounted file system, is, depending on the underlying storage, it's striped and mirrored, possibly striped and mirrored twice. If the underlying storage cannot do striping and mirroring, ACFS will do it for you, giving you equivalent to RAID 10 equivalent performance and reliability. If you have underlying storage that can stripe itself, then the performance will be even higher because there are multiple levels of striping. You would use your SAM to stripe volumes and ACFS will then stripe files, which is an extent-based file system. So what's the end result? So you can replace your third-party products, such as Veritas Clustered File System, Red Hat's Global File System, and of course, it can replace all your file servers.